Uh, Megan, can you please come here? Welcome to Kurdistan. Uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I want to know about your experience here in Erbil. You just arrived and came to Bazar. You tried kebab, you have tea. So the food how was is amazing. The culture is amazing. Beautiful designs. The Kurdish clothing is just gorgeous. Everything's so intricate and um, beaded and beautiful and opulent. And I just love it. And I can't wait to bring the styles home with me. Yeah, you buy uh, Kurdish uh, women's clothes. Yeah, did yeah. you like it? Because you also work on fashion. So how you see the Kurdish clothes? I see them as just this beautiful, opulent, special, one-of-a-kind pieces. Uh, we don't see very much of this in the United States, not in not in New York. This very different style that I'm used to. So it's really exciting for me to discover new designs and the workmanship and craftsmanship that the Kurds put into their pieces. You've been a lot of country. Why you decided to come to Kurdistan at this moment? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> I never thought I was going to come here so quickly. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity for miles, so I thought it's it's my chance to try it. And I want to try everywhere. I really want to immerse myself in all the different cultures. I want to see the world. I want to meet new people. I want to understand your culture. I want to understand your fashions. It's really special to me to have the opportunity to come here. Yeah, so as a woman that work on fashion, I believe you know Lara Dizay that she worked yes. on Kurdish clothes, yeah? Yes. Do you like her designs? Uh, I've been inspired by her. Mm -hmm. I was talking to her before I came here yeah. um, and look forward to meeting her. She's so talented, um, so well deserved that she's showing in Paris and just really an amazing talent. Uh, I really am inspired and again, we don't have we do have amazing designers in the United States, um, but just nothing like this. It's just a different, new perspective and new, new thing for me to see. So it's really exciting and special, and I'm just so, so happy to be here. I just got off a plane, so <laughs> I'm a little tired, but I want to see everything. And you know, I have new eyes on the world and a whole new view of Kurdistan now. Um, Miles was very helpful in directing me to let me know that it's safe here and the people are nice and everybody's so welcoming. So I'm very lucky to be able to have these experiences and meet new people and understand the culture from a first first hand perspective rather than just seeing what's on the news. It's it's really lucky for me. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to come here and meet you. So it's meant that you have planned to come back again, yeah? Yes. Yes, already. <laughs> I want I want to see more of the region. Uh, I want to see more of Iraq in general, but definitely this region seems everybody's so open and and we're just like each other actually. Everybody's, you know, we're all in the same world and I want to meet more people, see more things and be exposed to new cultures and new fashions. Yeah, so I heard that maybe you have a plan for fashion in with refugees in Iraq and Kurdistan. Do you have any plan like this? Yes, it's it's a new plan, uh, but I would love to come here and I want us to teach each other. I want I want the world to be more open and I, I want more understanding both ways. I want you to understand my fashion and for me to understand your fashion and for us to come together and create together and understand each other and just make the world a better place and for more people to understand um, that Kurdistan is a beautiful place and somewhere they should visit. Good. So for the last question, do you want to say anything to our Kurdish people that now are watching you? <laughs> Hi. Um, keep up the amazing work. Thank you for having me. And I can't wait to come back. Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Thank you so much.